Good morning, Stats fans. How are we doing this fine morning? It's a Friday morning. Uh, a little cloudy and dreary outside, but the weatherman said it's supposed to clear up a little bit. Uh, get up around 6 degrees, so hopefully you can get outside and get some fresh air. Um, maybe you can help out a neighbor a little bit. Maybe you can help out your parents a little bit. Go outside, clean up the yard. Uh, get some fresh air on the outside. I hope everything is well in your household. I hope everybody's feeling well. Um, keeping away from the sicknesses that are out there. Um, yesterday I posted an in-class assignment for you to accomplish. Uh, please do accomplish that. Please get the in-class assignment done. Uh, submit it to me either through Google Classroom or through uh, taking a picture with your phone. You can take a picture with your phone. Uh, send me the picture um, or you can email me if you can scan it to me. That is fine. Uh, my address is there. Whatever you can do to get it to me, that would be great. Once again, uh, University of Finley is uh, requiring us that we continue to uh, go through the classes and the coursework. So this is part of the coursework, so please complete the in-class assignment. Um, there will be no other assignment for the weekend. Um, please just get that done. On Monday, we'll have another worksheet that uh, sort of covers the entire chapter. Tuesday will be a review day. Wednesday will probably be a quiz. Wednesday or Thursday will probably be a quiz over uh, chapter five. Um, once again, uh, we'll just continue to push through the material um, and we'll submit it just like we are submitting this right now. Um, it's interesting as I watched the news a little bit yesterday, uh, the lady, the nurse lady from, or the, the head chief medical person in Ohio came on and they talked about flattening the curve. And of course, uh, I'm going to still look at this as a statistical model. Um, they were able to gather data before they didn't have any data at all. And this is what they were projecting with respect to the data. Um, now they started to gather data and what is creating here is a bell-shaped curve. And that's what should be happening is a bell-shaped curve um, where the peak is going to be the peak of when they feel the uh, number of cases are going to explode within, the class, within Ohio. But that's just... If you look at our bell-shaped curve here, um, this is what they were guessing was going to happen. Um, once again, as we talked about in class, predictions are only predictions. Uh, until it actually comes to fruition, um, you're not going to get the actual values here. But this is what they were predicting to begin with, a big spike that we have. Um, and the bell-shaped curve is down here now, which is good for Ohioans. Um, but still, uh, because of social distancing, uh, people just started sort of staying at home. That sort of helped everything out. So continue to do that. Continue to do your part and help out. Um, once again, this is just all predictions. But now they're starting to gather all this hard data that they have with respect to the number of cases that are there. Now they can start making predictions that are a little bit more bona fide. Uh, the law of large numbers, as we talked about. Um, is going to help out the process. Before, they didn't have large numbers. They didn't have large numbers, so the law of large numbers was not on their side. Now, they have the law of large numbers on their side because they're testing so many people and they're seeing so many cases now. They now have some experience and they have data that is sitting there and driving these curves where they're going to be. Continue to do the part. Hopefully, we can get back to normal as, as quickly as possible. Um, once again, I miss you guys. I wish we were in classes today still um, and be in the anticipation of, you know, spring break coming up next week or the following week. But, you know, it is what it is. It's our new norm. It's no, our new reality. Um, so please stay safe this weekend. Uh, get your in-class assignment done. Get it posted to me or submit it back to me. Once again, you can scan it to me. You can... Uh, take a picture of it and send me a picture through my email. That is fine. I even found out that you can go to an iPhone and go to your notes and you can do a new note at the bottom and you can take a picture and you can scan documents that way with your iPhone and then submit and email me the document through your iPhone. It's amazing, just simply amazing. And believe it or not, five, six months ago, I didn't even have this. Um, and now if I can learn something like that, uh, you obviously can too. Uh, if I can post a YouTube video now, 
um, I'm going out of my comfort zone and being able to do all these things. Um, so please do submit uh, your uh, papers quite, as soon as you can, get it done uh, and get it submitted to me. If you have any questions or having any difficulty or problems, please do email me. Uh, send me an email, describe what's happening for you and I will try to help out as much as possible. If not, you all have a good weekend. Stay safe, stay out of trouble. Adios.